Hey guys, I'm the math professor Kyle Martin, and in this video we're going to talk about why my favorite analogy for a function is a vending machine. Okay, so think of your favorite vending machine. Maybe you're a, a Coke person, maybe you're a Pepsi person, maybe uh, you only drink water and uh, that's all you like. All right, but in this in this uh, example, I'm a Pepsi guy. So uh, let's let's say we have three choices in our vending machine. Right, you have the buttons you push. Doesn't, this is why I teach math, guys. This doesn't look very good, but uh, you have your, th your three buttons you push. We have Pepsi. Uh, let's say maybe we have Mountain Dew. Um, and then let's go Wild Cherry Pepsi. I'll give that a C for Wild Cherry Pepsi. Okay? Uh, when you press the Pepsi button on a vending machine, you expect to get a Pepsi. All right? You expect to get a Pepsi. So that is going to give you a P. When you, uh, when you hit the Pepsi button, you get a Pepsi. Same thing, when you hit the Mountain Dew button, you expect to get a Mountain Dew. In fact, if you don't, you probably kick the vending machine and well, only, only bad things happen after that. But, uh, and then when you uh, hit Wild Cherry, you expect to get a Wild Cherry uh, Pepsi. Okay, this is a function because if you remember our, re our uh, definition of a function, it is a relation in which every input has exactly one output. So you're inputting the button, where you hit the button, that's your input. Um, we're gonna learn later, those are the X values. And then your output, right, you have to only have one output. Okay, which that means that if I had a machine over here, this is gonna be an example of not a function. This uh, currently good working machine that works fine is a function, but one that would not be a function, well, let's, let's say you have Pepsi, Mountain Dew, and Wild Cherry Pepsi again. And this time, when you hit the Pepsi button, you're not sure if you're gonna get a Pepsi or you're gonna get a Mountain Dew. Okay. Now you might be okay with both those options, but it's not a function because for that input, you're not getting exactly one output you're getting two, okay? You don't know if you're gonna get a Pepsi, you don't know if you're gonna get a Mountain Dew. Maybe you hit the Pepsi button, you get a Pepsi, the person behind you hits the Pepsi button, they get a Mountain Dew. That's a bad machine. That's not gonna be a function, okay? So over here, the one that works right, this one is a function. And this one that doesn't work very well is not a function. Okay, that's not a function. Let's look at a couple others. Okay, I went ahead and put up uh, one, two, three, four, five more vending machines, okay? And if we remember, our first one that worked perfect was when you have a Pepsi, you got a Pepsi. When you have a Mountain Dew, you got a Mountain Dew. When you got a Wild Cherry Pepsi, you got a Wild Cherry Pepsi. The C is Wild Cherry Pepsi in this example, okay? Um, this next one, let's say uh, everyone likes Pepsi and it gets sold out, okay? It gets sold out. So this time, Pepsi, it's not gonna go anywhere. Mountain Dew, there's still some Mountain Dew. Wild Cherry, there's still some Wild Cherry, but Pepsi, it's not gonna go anywhere. In fact, you could say it goes to the empty set if you want, or you could just erase the entire arrow and say it's nothing, but it's, it's sold out, right? Sold out. Is this a function? Well, let's look at our definition again, a relation in which every input has exactly one output. So here the key word is every, okay? The other ones have one output, but Pepsi doesn't, okay? Pepsi this is part of the every, so every input, that's a, your ability to push the button, uh, but it doesn't have an output, so this is not a function. Not a function. I'll say is for our original one, this one's not. Uh, what about this next one? Okay, and this next one, let's say maybe um, when you hit Pepsi, now you get a Mountain Dew. When you hit the Mountain Dew button, you get a Wild Cherry Pepsi. When you hit the Wild Cherry Pepsi, you get a regular Pepsi. Is this a function? Yes, it is. Because again, for every input, it has exactly one output. There's only one arrow going to each of those different outputs. Now it's gonna take you several quarters to probably figure out that machine, but it will work. Eventually, you'll know that when I hit Pepsi, I'm not getting a Pepsi, I'm getting a Mountain Dew. And you can kind of figure out the machine. If you want Pepsi, you're gonna to have to hit the Wild Cherry Pepsi button because the person that maybe stocked that machine didn't do it right or whatever, um, that's the way it is. Okay, what about uh, you ever go to like a, a fair or a carnival or something and uh, there's just a water machine, okay? In fact, I'm gonna do this one first. There's three different, the only buttons that are on that machine are water. And what it does is every time you hit that button, whether you get the first button, the second button, or the third button, you're gonna get a water. Is this a function? Yes. It is. Again, looking at our definition, every input, right, whether we hit one, two, or three, button, water button one, water button two, water button three, we're going to get a water. 
Okay, it doesn't matter if the output is coming is the same. In fact, maybe the entire machine is just chock full of water, and every time you hit it, it doesn't matter. The machine knows you can just take from any of the places inside because it's only going to dispense water. So yes, that's the function. Now, if you only have one water button and you hit that, and this time maybe it gives you um, different types of water. Maybe you have Aquafina. Um, Oh, I don't know my water. I think there's one that starts with a D, Dizani or something, or Fuji water, right? Maybe, maybe when you hit water, you don't know what type of water. This one is not a function. Okay, so again, this one was, this is a function. This one is not a function because you don't know which type of water you're going to get. You're going to get water, but you might not get the type that you desire. So that is not a function. Um, this one we said was a function. So. Uh, again, you just have to remember that every input in your function has to only have one output. It has to have an output, first off, it can't be sold out, and it has to only have one output in order to be considered a function. 